Hi everyone, my name is Kylie. I'll be taking you through your gentle flow this evening um, or whatever time it is for you that you are, are joining me. Um, so welcome. This will be a yoga flow. Um, we're going to start, I'd say in any position that's comfortable for you. So you may prefer um, to be lying down onto your mat or you may prefer a seated position. It's completely up to you how you would like to start your practice because we will be starting just with a little bit of a check-in process. I'll explain that as we go. Um, one thing I will say before we start is just make sure that you have um, a blanket or uh, some cushions, a pillow, something with you um, that you can use to support your practice if you need to um, throughout. Um, also a yoga mat um, or something similar and just a little bit of space around you as well. All right, so let's get started. Find a position that's comfy for you. Um, and then let's just begin by closing down our eyes. Just closing the eyes down, beginning to draw that awareness inwards. And just taking some time for yourself here before we start moving to notice how you're feeling and just check in with yourself. So checking in with what uh, type of energy you may have with you at the moment. Uh, how you're feeling mentally. The mind's feeling a little bit rushy and we need to slow things down a little or if you're feeling okay. And checking in with your physical body as well. So we'll do a bit of a body scan just to draw a little bit more awareness to how we may be feeling on a physical level. Noticing any areas where we may be holding any tension or tightness. So let's start by scanning from the crown of the head down through the shoulders, the neck. Perhaps noticing if you're holding any tension through your face or your jaw. And see if you can soften that a little bit here. And the neck and the shoulders, how are they feeling? It's okay to add a little bit of movement into this if that helps you to notice any sensation there or tightness, tension. And again, see if you can soften. And perhaps scanning down through the trunk of the body. And then out into the limbs, the arms, the legs, the hands, the feet. See if you can soften a little bit more here. And then we'll begin to check in with our breath. So just notice what the quality of your breath feels like today. Does the breath feel like it comes easily to you, naturally smooth, long, deep breaths? Does the breath feel like it's tight and restricted in the body somewhere? A little short, a little shallow, a little rushed. We'll focus on slowing down that breath as we move today through our gentle flow but also just allowing the breath to kind of lengthen and breathe itself as well. So let's begin to lengthen that breath a little bit here as we inhale in through our nose. And then exhale, release the air out through your nose or out through your mouth if you prefer. And we'll begin to inhale perhaps a little bit deeper each time without any strain, without any effort. Just allow the breath to become naturally that little bit deeper for you, that little bit longer, that little bit smoother. Allow the exhale to do the same. So notice your inhales as they lengthen, smoothen out. 
Notice your exhales as they do the same. Perhaps as you're inhaling that breath, can you maybe send the breath where there may be those areas of tension or tightness that you found in your body? And then as you exhale, can you use that breath to soften that area? You may have noticed some tension through the neck and the shoulders. Maybe there's an injury that you're aware of. And send out inhale breaths there. And exhales, softening. If there wasn't a particular point of tension or tightness that you could notice in your body, that's okay. Just notice on, um, or focus, sorry, on lengthening through those breaths. And still use that exhale breath to soften the body into the mat in whatever position you may be in. Two more rounds of breath here, keeping it nice and smooth. Allowing that breath just to slow down that little bit more. And then taking that last round of breath here on your own pace. Softening, releasing, letting go any tension that you may be holding here. And then if you're in a seated position as I am, we begin to lie ourselves down onto the mat. You may already be there. And if you're on your mat, your eyes are closed down, just fluttering those eyes open now. You can keep them closed down if you prefer. We're going to draw our knees in towards our chest now. So just gently allowing those knees to come in towards you. Maybe giving yourself a nice big hug, a big squeeze. You might have the knees out nice and wide just to create a little bit more space for yourself in your body. Maybe you have them together if that feels good. You might roll into a little ball on your mat. Just take a few moments here just to notice what you can feel. So maybe we create a few little circles here with the knees now, circling them out and around and connecting them back. Just adding a little bit of movement, gently moving through our body here. It might feel good to straighten your legs up to the ceiling. A few little bends, straightens. Perhaps a few gentle rocks from side to side. And then we'll take our arms up overhead, nice big stretch. You can allow your feet to come down here if that feels good. Just really stretching out through that upper body. And we'll also now release those legs down, point through the toes, point through the fingers, create lots of length through your body here on your mat. And then begin to walk your hands over towards the right side. And see if you can walk your feet over towards the right side as well, but keep your hips planted down onto the mat. Coming into our banana pose, banana asana in our yogi language, uh, which looks just like the shape of a banana. So we're getting a nice stretch through the side of the waist here. The whole side body. If you do want a little bit more here, maybe that left foot crosses over the right ankle. I'm just breathing into the side of the body here. So if you can notice your breath, expand your rib cage and just create a little bit more space in the body. Stay for two more breaths. And then gently uncrossing those feet if you did cross them over. Walk your feet back through to centre and then walk your hands back through to centre as well. We'll take that shape on the other side. So now gently taking your arms over towards the left side and your feet over towards the left side, maybe crossing your right foot over your left ankle. 
creating your banana shape on the left. And again, noticing where you may feel tension in your body or where you may feel that you have created some space or you're able to create some space with your breath. And just take some time to notice if there's a difference for you between this shape on one side to the other. So it may feel completely different for you. Perhaps the tension is in a different place or you feel a release or a stretch somewhere that you didn't before. And just becoming aware of that, learning a little bit more about ourselves and our body today. And you could create the same shape uh, class after class and it can feel completely different for you from day to day, depending on what is happening. Let's come all the way back through center when you're ready. So arms come back through the center, feet uncross and walk back through the center. We're going to bring the soles of our feet back onto the mat now. And then draw those knees back in towards you. We're going to find our first twist for the day. So arms come out to either side of the body. So allow our knees just to gently fall over towards the left side. So off towards the left. And this is where you may like to have your pillow perhaps underneath the knees to support. If they don't quite want you come down towards the ground or onto the ground. And you may like to have those knees stacked or perhaps you straighten one leg out. So top leg maybe straightens. Notice how that feels. And see if you can keep both shoulders down onto your mat. Twisting out through the spine. We're also releasing tension in other areas of the body like your hips. Bringing those knees back together. If you have straightened out that top leg, use your inhale breath here to draw those knees through center. And then let's take the knees over to the other side with your exhale breath. So over towards the right side now. And again, you may like to prop those knees up. Perhaps your blanket comes here between the ground and your knees for support. Maybe they come all the way down and that feels good for you today. Maybe straighten out your top leg. Perhaps you keep it bent. Just moving in any way that feels good for you today. So I'll be guiding you through some poses, some flows. But always know to listen to your body and you know yourself and your body better than anybody else. So if something doesn't feel right, then don't do it or do it in your way. Let's use our inhale breath, come back through center. Another nice big hug for yourself. And then let's begin to rock and roll gently up and down the length of the mat. So this is a nice little bit of movement for the spine. If it doesn't feel good, just pop yourself up into a kneeling position, which is where we're all coming to. These feel quite fun for me. <laughs> when you are ready, we will come all the way up to a four point kneeling position. So we're going to set up here with our hands underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. So four point kneeling here, ready for some cats and cows. So a little bit more movement now through the spine, a little bit of connection of our breath with our movement. And as you are ready, let's inhale. We're going to drop our belly down, lift our gaze up, and then press through your hands, arch your spine, and gaze between your knees. 
So you can connect that breath in here as well as you inhale, we'll drop our belly down, lift our gaze up. As you exhale, press the ground away, arch the spine, gaze between the knees. And doing this at your own pace with your breath. Maybe some movement here, so side to side can feel nice perhaps. Again, for that side waist, a bit of movement through the hips. Maybe you're coming back a little towards those heels or coming up onto your fingertips into that cat stretch. We're just flowing with your breath now. So really beginning to notice that connection of breath and movement. It doesn't matter what you look like in your cat cows, just really moving through that spine. Let's see if we can draw a little bit more awareness to the spine through this movement. And just notice where you're naturally uh, starting the movement from. So is that movement starting from the tail as you round and tuck? under or is that movement starting from the tip of the spine or the top of the spine as you arch the back and round notice which you're gravitating to and then see if you can do the opposite so if you are starting the movement from the top of the spine, see if you can start the movement from the base of the spine. And don't forget your breath. We've got one more round here. Your own pace, your breath. And when you finish that round, let's find our first child's pose. So big toes come to touch, knees can come out nice and wide here. And we'll sit back towards the heels, reaching the arms forward, child's pose. The forehead can rest down onto the mat. If that is not available to you, this is where your pillow, your cushion may become in handy as you pop your forehead down. Something to rest it on if that is what you need today. Just breathing into the back of the body, opening up a little more. Notice the breath in the back of the ribs as they expand. And then when you are ready, really gently beginning to make your way back to your four point kneeling position. So setting back up here with those wrists underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips and start to switch on a little bit through our core. We're still moving quite gently today through our flows. Really important that we have everything nice and active and switched on here. So let's find our neutral spine. So somewhere in between that uh, over arch and that extension, we just wanna find our neutral position. From here, let's inhale, reach our left arm forward. As you exhale, just plant that hand back down. Move to the other side. As you inhale, reach your right arm forward. As you exhale, bring your hand back down. You may like to stay with this. So focusing on keeping the hips and the shoulders nice and square as you alternate sides. Perhaps you want a little bit more of a challenge here a little bit more activation through the core. We can reach through the left arm and then extend the right leg. See if you can keep everything nice and steady and balanced here. Hips face down, shoulders face down. 
breathe. Good. Hand plants down, knee plants down, swap sides. Reaching through the right arm, the left leg, pointing through the toes, reaching through the fingertips. Breathing here. And gently releasing back down. Adding a little flow movement into this now. So let's inhale, reach our left arm forward, right arm back. As you exhale, draw your knee and your elbow towards one another around your spine. Inhale, reaching forward, reaching back. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale to reach. Exhale. Good, one more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Planting that hand down, knee down. Reaching through the right side. Fingertips reach forward. Left leg reaches back. Inhale. Exhale. Knee to elbow. Underneath the body, round the spine. Inhale, send it back. Exhale. Inhale. Connecting that breath and that movement. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Inhale and release. Beautiful whack. Finding our first downward facing dog here. Let's tuck our toes under. Press through your hands and send your hips nice and high up towards the sky. So you can pedal out, create a little bit of gentle movement here through your legs. As we drop one heel down towards the mat and then the other. Perhaps a big bend in both knees, hips up nice and high a few times. Finding that length through the spine. So crown of the head to the tail, nice and long. And remembering that we want to find length through the spine as our number one here in our downward facing dog. So if that means that the bend in the knees needs to stay there, that is fine. If it feels okay, once you've found that length in the spine, see if you can drop your heels down towards your mat slightly. So the backs of the legs start to lengthen out here. We'll send our belly back towards our thighs. And roll our armpits inwards so we're engaging through the upper body. Hands are firmly planted down to your mat. Fingertips are strong. And let's breathe here, gaze towards your knees. Finding a little stillness now in that downward facing dog. And gently beginning to walk your feet up towards the top of the mat. Your hands can come off your mat here to get there. We're going to come into a forward fold at the top of your mat. So just folding forward, you can take a big bend in your knees here. Let your belly rest onto your thighs. And then you can bring your hands to any position that feels good. So maybe behind your legs. Perhaps they're dangling down towards the ground. Maybe behind the back, interlacing the hands. Open up through your chest and your shoulders, your upper back. Maybe a little sway from side to side might feel good here as well. So big bend in the knees, just releasing through our lower back here. Release those hands down towards the mat. We're going to press through our feet. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing. And bring our palms up towards the sky, connect the hands. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. So we're gonna have a nice flat back in our halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Press through your feet, inhale, rise back up. Palms touch overhead. Nice big reach up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, lift halfway, nice flat back. So fingertips may be coming to your shins. Maybe they are staying on the ground. Exhale, fold. Stepping back into your downward facing dog. Next inhale, breath, roll forward. Find a plank position, drop your knees here. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down onto your mat. So all the way onto the belly. A few rounds of our baby cobra here. Planting everything down, so tops of the feet, tops of the thighs, pressing, hands pressing down. We're going to lift just our chest. So as you inhale, lift the chest away from the mat, gaze just in front of your mat here. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, lift just the chest, elbows back towards your ribs. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, one more time. Let's inhale, lift, opening up. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes, press through your hands. Come back through bent knees to your downward facing dog. Walk your feet up towards the top of your mat. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Forward fold here. Again at the top of our mat, but this time let's keep the legs nice and straight so we can get some tension out through the hamstrings and the calves. So you can again bind your hands any way that feels good for you. It might be back behind you. Maybe just straight down. You can bend and straighten. Let's take a little bit of the rotation here as I am. Gently moving from side to side to release that little bit of tension through the backs of the legs. Let's press through those feet. Inhale, rise all the way back up, palms touch. Exhale, fold. Planting your hands down, bending your knees. Let's step back with our left foot and drop our left knee down. So we're in a low lunge position here. Inhale, we're going to rise up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands come to our heart center. From here, let's twist just from the rib cage. So we're going to twist towards the right side, just from the rib cage, keeping those hips forward. Breathing here. Perhaps we now take those arms out to either side of the body as well. Reach through the fingertips, soften the shoulders down. Stay with your breath. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Rotate back towards the front of your mat. Plant your hands down. And frame that front foot, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, step forward, forward, fold. Left foot will stay forward now. Let's step back with the right, drop the right knee down, inhale, rise up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, bring your hands back through heart center. Let's find that twist. On the other side, so from the rib cage, we twist towards the left now. Maybe we stay here. Perhaps we bring our arms out to either side and drop those shoulders down. You can have your back toes tucked or untucked, so whatever feels better for you. And if your knee causes you any trouble in these types of poses, Great idea to perhaps pop a blanket or something underneath that back knee just for some extra support. Inhale, reaching back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, plant your hands back down. Tuck those back toes. This time we're stepping back, downward facing dog. 
good flowing here. Inhale, come forward into your plank position. Drop your knees down, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift just your chest here. Maybe straighten for your arms as well. A little bit more of a release here. And lower. A few more rounds like this. So option to stay in baby cobra here, lifting just the chest. Option to press through those hands. Which may stretch out a little bit more through the front of the body, also compresses through the lower back. And release. One more here. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes under. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, draw your knee towards your nose. Round your spine here. Inhale, send that leg back high. Exhale, knee towards your nose. Inhale, send it back. This time, as the knee comes underneath the body, I'm going to try and step it through. So your right foot comes towards your right hand. Press through both feet and rise up to your high lunge. So option to come to this position any other way that feels good for you if you don't want to work with those step throughs. Just shuffle that front foot out to the edge of your mat slightly for a little bit more balance and support here. Hands coming to heart center. Find our twist here in our high lunge. So twisting towards that right side. Breathing here, maybe opening those arms out again to the sides and softening those shoulders down. Working with a lot of twists to the spine today. Beautiful, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, plant them down, step forward, forward, fold. And keeping your left foot forward, let's step back with our right foot and find our high lunge now on that left side. Hands coming to heart space. Find your balance. So shuffle your left foot to the edge of your mat. That will create a little bit more support here. Rotating from the rib cage towards that left side. Maybe opening those arms out as well. Soften the shoulders down. Breathe here. Inhale, arms up, face the front of your mat. Exhale, plant your hands down, step forward, forward, fold. Let's press through our feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Beautiful. We're going to come into a balance now. So staying in your standing position, you can stay at the front of your mat. I'll turn around so that you can see me. We're just going to begin to shift our weight from one foot to the other. So just noticing how that feels for you. To change where your weight is placed. And then eventually all of your weight here going to shift into your left foot. We're going to bring the right heel to the inside of the left leg and keep the toes down on the mat. Hands to your hips, lots of length through that spine. Perhaps you stay here, maybe you begin to send that foot up the leg slightly. Finding our tree pose. So your tree pose may be here, working with your balance there. 
Perhaps a wall for support if you need, you could hold a wall. Perhaps you're bringing the sole of the foot onto the calf. Perhaps it's coming above the knee to the inside of the thigh. Wherever it goes, you are finding that position without reaching for that foot and placing it there. See if you can ground down through your standing leg, the left foot grounding into the mat, length all the way up to the crown of the head. And then perhaps you also grow some branches for your tree so your hands may begin to float up towards the ceiling, finding your full tree pose. If you'd like to challenge your balance more here, maybe just closing down your eyes, see what happens. <laughs> and if you fall out, just come back in. And then hands gently making their way to heart space. Let's bring that right knee in towards the chest and gently place your foot back down. Awesome job. We are going to work through that tree on the other side. So nice and gently shifting your weight from one foot to the other. And beginning to shift all of that weight into the right foot this time. Bring the left heel to the inside of the leg and the toes to the mat. Lots of length here through the spine. Set your rib cage down, stacked on top of your hips. Perhaps again, beginning to creep that foot up the leg, wherever it comes to, without grabbing hold of that foot. So avoid reaching for the foot. It's okay if it's here or here or here. And then beginning to grow branches for your tree. It's also okay if you're swaying a little bit. Trees, uh, they sway in the wind, it's natural. So just being here in this moment, grounding down into the earth. And then when you are ready, bring your hands back to heart space, left knee in towards your body, releasing down. Beautiful. We should be at the top of our mat here if you're not walking yourself there. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Planting your hands down, stepping back, downward facing dog. Last flow for your class here. Inhale, breath brings you forward. Find your plank position. Knees come down lower. Inhale, breath. Finding that little back bend position here. Exhale, lower down. Big toes to touch. Find your child's pose. Sitting back towards those heels. Placing your forehead down towards your mat. Taking a few breaths here. And when you are ready, really gently make your way to four point kneeling. And then coming up here, just going to turn ourselves around so that we're in a seated position on our mat. Now from here, let's bring our right knee in towards us. Find lots of length through the spine. And we're going to place the right foot on the other side of the left leg. Rotating towards the right side, right hand comes down to the mat behind you. And perhaps that left arm can cross over the front of 
your right knee, finding a twist here in a seated position. Perhaps gazing over the right shoulder. Just breathing here. One more big inhale breath. Exhale. Slowly unraveling from your twist. Let's find that shape on the other side. So let's bring our left knee in towards us here. Grow nice and tall through the spine. And then place that left foot across the other side of your right leg. Left hand comes down behind the body. Rotating through the spine, bringing your right arm to the outside of that left knee. Perhaps gazing over your left shoulder if that feels okay to come into that full twist here. Staying for two deep breaths. When you finish your two breaths, gently unraveling and crossing your legs and coming down onto your mat. So lying ourselves down here. Bring those knees in, another big hug just as we started. Big hug in towards your body. Maybe out nice and wide, create that space, maybe in a little ball, rounding up. And we're going to come into our happy baby here. So let's bring those legs up towards the ceiling. Soles of the feet up towards the roof. You can take hold of the thighs here, maybe the outside of the calves, or it may be the edges of the feet as we begin to Bring our knees in towards our armpits. So just reaching for whatever feels right for you here. Finding some length again through the spine. So tailbone drawing down towards the mat. Maybe a little rock from side to side. Any little movements that feel good for you here. May just feel better to straighten those legs up towards the ceiling, point through the toes, flex them back towards your face, closing down your eyes. And then whenever you are ready, allowing the feet to come back onto your mat. Again, just making any last little movements that you may need to before your final relaxation, your final pose, your Shavasana. And when you're ready to come into your final shape, just allowing your legs to straighten out on your mat, your arms can fall wherever they feel comfy. So just making sure you are as comfortable as you can be you may be laying down flat on your mat. You may have some blankets, some pillows, things to support you here. Perhaps you're lying on your side if that's where you're more comfortable. Maybe on the belly. It doesn't matter what you look like here. So long as you can just fully release. Just allowing those eyes to close down if they're not there already. Doing one final scan here of your body. Notice where you may still be holding tension. See if you can soften. Just allowing the whole body to be soft here. Soft and still. And then 
and gently. Beginning to deepen your breath a little. Notice every inhale breath as it comes in through the body. Notice every exhale as you release anything that you no longer need with you today. And gently introducing some light movements to fingers, toes, maybe one last nice big stretch overhead, point through your fingers, your toes, or maybe one last hug in towards the body. And then whenever you are ready, really gently making your way back up to a seated position on your mat. Take your time. Bringing your hands to heart center, or if you would prefer just having them down in your lap. And at the end of our practice, we say to one another, Namaste. The light within me honors the light within each one of you. Namaste. I hope that you enjoyed um, our gentle flow. We focused a lot on um, lots of nice, beautiful twists today. Uh, yeah, and I um, will see you guys next week. Thank you.